Hello everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome to what I believe is my first overt book haul. I've shied away from doing book hauls. I've never really been a fan of them because you kind of get the sense that the books are not really being read. The, the measure of a successful reading program to many who do book hauls is quantity. And I've always been about quality. I've always been about deep rereading. In fact, the books that I'm currently rereading for the umpteenth time, these are the books I'm more excited to discuss. I'm currently rereading my favourite gothic novel of all time with the Hardcore Literature Book Club, that's Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I've just finished a great deep read of Thomas Hardy's Tess of the Herberville and I absolutely fell in love with it all over again. I'm going to do a podcast on this one. It's a great autumnal read. Hardy is perfect, just like Dickens, for rereading. I've been rereading the essays of Emerson and Thoreau, and I've also been loving a deep reread of George Eliot's Middlemarch, Samuel Richardson's Clarissa, great book, uh, The Turn of the Screw. Again, we're reading this in the original serialised publication form with the book club. That's Henry James, great ghost story, fits the season perfectly. And I've been falling in love once again with the secret Dickens novel slated for the Christmas period. I'm not going to reveal what it is yet, uh, but look forward to it if you're part of the club. It's absolutely brilliant. It's so, so much fun. We're going to really enjoy this one. But let's get into the book haul. And excuse me for going quickly, but there are a lot of books. Now, these aren't book recommendations, but I know a few of you have expressed interest in seeing what kind of books turn up. Like I said, I'm more interested in my rereads, in my deep returnings to the classics, but recently I had quite a haul turn up and I'd like to show you some of the books that I find myself rifling through and enjoying. Okay, first things first, let's get the Oxford World's classics out of the way because I've got three of them. I absolutely love these editions. The pictures chosen for the cover are always so beautiful. Um, let's see what turned up. So, we have D.H. Lawrence, The Rainbow. Funnily enough, though I have enjoyed Lawrence's poetry for many years, I've never really got into his novels in a big way. When I was much younger, I read Sons and Lovers, but I couldn't remember it. Having reread Thomas Hardy and almost exhausted him, I thought the next logical step would be to pick up some D.H. Lawrence. So I've started with The Rainbow, and I can't believe it's taken me this long to get to. The prose is gorgeous. It's biblical. If you haven't read The Rainbow and you're a fan of Thomas Hardy, then I would highly recommend D.H. Lawrence. I also picked up some Emile Zola. This is the first novel in the Rougon Makar, and I'm probably butchering uh, that a series of novels. One of the members of the book club has expressed Zola as, actually we have a few fans of Zola, but as his favourite novelist and he loved reading through the whole series. I've heard the entire series mentioned time and again, so I thought it time to see what the fuss is about. So I'm starting with that. I did read Zola's Betumain um, many, many years ago, but once again, I can't really remember it. Um, and it's very, very slim, it's very doable, so I'm looking forward to seeing Zola. And keeping with the French, I have some Molière. I ordered this, even though I've already read Molière again many years ago, I ordered this because I found myself feeling a little bit misanthropic. So I kept having Moliere's play title, The Misanthrope, come into my mind. I don't know why or where it came from, but I thought I'm gonna reorder that and I'm gonna check out one of the latest translations. And so far I'm loving it. Next up we have some poetry. Wallace Stevens, the complete collected uh, poetry and prose in the Library of America edition. I'm a huge fan of Library of America. You can see a couple behind me, Isley, Le Guin, Baldwin, and now Stevens. I love how compact they are. This is over a thousand pages. You wouldn't be able to tell, would you? But the paper quality, it's very thin, it's very fine, but it's supreme. It's a, it's a premium product. The dust jacket, if you take it off, you can see the original, uh, the, the hardback underneath is in a nice royal blue. Uh, Wallace Stevens is wonderful. I've been rereading and chanting aloud from the Auroras of Autumn. Um, if you haven't already come to Wallace Stevens, I strongly urge you to. He is tremendous. And we have Breaching the Penguin Classics, we have some German poetry with Friedrich Hölderling, and forgive me for butchering the pronunciation of that. I've never read him before, I don't think. Maybe I've read him in passing anthologies, but other than that, I've not come to him in a huge way, and now I felt the time was right, so I'm going to dive into that. If you have already read him, 
then please recommend me uh, the poem that you think I should start with. Keeping with the Penguin Classics, this one got recommended to me based on my buying trends by Amazon. This is Italo Calvino, Why Read the Classics? And I was almost ready to dismiss it. I've seen this recommended a few times. I thought, I don't need this book. And then I opened it and started reading his introduction, his introductory essay, and I felt like it was myself mirrored back to me. He's got, obviously got a different writing style, but he was saying things almost verbatim, the same things that I have said, and I've never read Calvino before, so hey, I found a kindred spirit, and I'm loving the essays so far. He's got essays on Homer, he's got essays on Dickens, and many more, so I'm, I'm enjoying that so far. I also, I didn't mean to get this, I think I hit this accidentally, but I'm glad I did. It's D. H. Lawrence, Studies in Classic American Literature. He talks about Walt Whitman, Benjamin Franklin, Edgar Allan Poe, Herman Melville, Hawthorne, and many more. And though I don't actually agree with much of what he's saying, his mode of expression is always that of the poet, and it's a good read in and of itself, and it makes one think of the inherent value of American literature. It's a great one, very slim one as well. Um, next up we have Arthur Miller's The Crucible. Now I've read this many, many years ago, I know what it's about, but I thought it was time to dust it off, or buy it again, and read it again. It's about witch hunts. Well, it's actually about McCarthyism, but it's it's a topic that is applicable to every time. And I can feel a podcast brewing, a good one, especially reading this in conjunction with the next book. This is a reread again. This is Stacey Schiff's The Witches. I think Schiff is a, a wonderful historian. I've also got her Cleopatra. If you're into your history, uh, Schiff is a good one to go for. Now let's look at some esoteric reads. Now I get some really out there recommendations. Um, this one here is called On the Kabbalah and its symbolism, and that's by Gershom Sholem. We also have The Message of the Alien God and the Beginnings of Christianity, the Gnostic Religion by Hans Jonas. Now I must say they're both incredibly dense and difficult, but I'm looking forward to unpicking them soon. I also have one which is a rebuy. I had this many years ago, it was on the required reading at Oxford, and I don't know where it ended up. I do remember struggling with this, and the other day I had a thought, an inspired thought, because I've read so much romantic poetry uh, since then. I thought, maybe I can try that again. M. H. Abrams, who kept writing well into his old age, I believe he reached the age of 100, that's some, that's some goals right there. The Mirror and the Lamp, Romantic Theory and the Critical Tradition. He has stuff in here on Coleridge, Wordsworth, Blake, Shelley, uh, Keats and so on. And once again, it's incredibly dense. Um, so I might have to give myself a headache. I might have to read this one with a pen poised. And a fun one. This is a relatively new Everyman Pocket Poet. I love all of these. They have a new one coming out, which I've pre-ordered, which is a series of poetry on books and the love of libraries and book collecting. But this one's perfect for the season. This is Poems Bewitched. And I'm torn because I absolutely love the dust jacket, but if you take it off, it's also in a really nice, vivid pumpkin orange colour. My plans for Halloween are to read aloud some ghost stories for the Hardcore Literature Book Club. I'm also going to be choosing a Patreon ghost story. That's one penned by one of the book club members. I'm going to read several aloud uh, with some classics thrown in and I'm going to weave in some spooky poems. It should be a really fun show so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I love Halloween, I love the season and I love aligning my reading with the season. And so that's just a choice selection of some of the books that turned up the other day. One of my favourite things to do in the evening is to surround myself with books and to just pick up disparate volumes from the pile, dip into 10 over the course of an evening. Uh, it's great fun and it all sort of compounds and mingles in my head. Uh, it's a great way to spend some time. Anywho, if you liked the book haul and you would like me to show off more books here and there, then do let me know. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe and let me know what books did you pick up recently? What was on your latest book haul? Happy reading, everybody.